How's it going, everyone? It is Monday, January 22nd, 2024, and this is the video for today. So, as always, we're going to start with what the market is doing right now. We're going to look at the picks from the last video and some of the previous videos, and then I will give a pick for the day. So, let's start with the market over here. Market is at a all-time high. We broke out of this compression um, all the way in December, early January. Broke this compression to the upside. We had a monster day in SPY. Today, we gapped up, and we are digesting some of those gains. So the market doesn't typically stack really big moves right after the other unless you see this sort of capitulation point. Um, typically, you'll have, look here, a big run compression right then a, another big run a big move up there's some profit taking that happens and then we get that next leg higher so after the move yesterday or not yesterday on friday i did think there's going to be continuation there was a chance we get another day of heavy buying but there was also a chance that we start to stall for the day and we digest some of those gains because it is hard to stack back-to-back -back days in the market. There's just too much balancing, profit-taking, hedging, non-hedging going on um, that limits uh, these you know, parabolic and unpredictable moves in the market. So going to the day, we knew there might be a day of pause, um, and that's okay. You can see here today, the market gapped up over here. It tested the high, and then it broke the low of the day. And now it is just kind of meandering over here, unable to really do anything. It's just holding this lower end of the range. Um, so I, I am sort of in a mildly bearish mindset on the very short term. 10 out of 10, long term, I am bullish. I view this as a very aggressive move. We haven't had any major, like this is the biggest dip that we had in the last uh, almost three months now. At the end of this week, it'll be three months. This is the biggest dip we've had in three months. All right, this has been a go, go, go bullish. And this dip tested this level, came back higher, uh, higher low, double bottom. And then we had the holding grounds here to break through the upside, get the dust down. So we're long-term bullish. Short-term, I'm a little bit more mildly bearish to neutral. Um, and this is, this is when it gets a little bit tricky, like I said in some previous videos, on how you trade for the day. Um, if you are a pro... There's an opportunity. Excuse me. There's an opportunity on the short side on this bearish cross over here that breaks to the low of the day. But it would only have to be a day trade. Now, I, we did get this bullish cross right here, and I wanted to see this produce. It did not produce. Um, the market has done absolutely nothing. Now, if you're in the right stock, right, maybe something like Snaps, you could do decently well um, at 12 10 right here could have made a little bit of money um, but market's not doing much I wanted it to produce to this bull cycle and try to have buyers regain some foothold over here but looks like it just may not happen uh, right away so if this bullish cycle ends up producing nothing LRSI is you can see it's pretty choppy which shows the lack of conviction on either direction today um, for me, it's just a good day to not trade. There's just not really any movement happening here. Broke through here, green candle. And by the way, I know I say green candle when it's blue on my screen, but uh, I like to say green and red because I think everyone else says green and red, and that's what they used. But move up, move down, move up, move down, move up, move down, move up, move down. It's just, just like we have not moved. The price of this market has not moved in... I don't know, two hours, three hours, 10.45, two and a half hours. So it's gone nowhere. You haven't done anything. 
Now, for the right stock, right, and this is one of the picks I liked earlier in the day. It's just grinding up higher, right? It has, it can operate under its own power, irrespective of the market. But um, we're not seeing that today. Uh, we're not getting that market tailwind. So, what I am looking for in a stock is something that has a nice D1 chart, has plenty of room. So this, you can see, it was pretty weak. Gain support over here, over this long-term trend line. Gapped up today, broke above the 50 SMA, broke above a VWAP E, uh, has decent volume, and is picking up volume over here, um, and it's moving up higher. Um, looks like it is, oh, interesting. Part of the semis kind of area, uh, electronic design. Chips have been pretty strong, but this has been pretty weak to its sector in the market. With this move here, and you can see that Snaps is a pretty choppy stock. Um, so I'll, I like to get it actually on these moves up versus the breakout. So SNPS will probably be my pick of the day, but we will validate that later in the video. Um, let's go over the picks from the prior uh, videos over here. So first one. And I know I'm bringing this up quite a bit, but I mean, we just gotta look at Costco over here. It has just been a smooth sailing since this breakout right here. Beautiful, and then you would probably have taken profits today when it tested this high plus trend line dating back from over here. Very, very valid. Um, other ones from prior videos amd has been a nice one here people have been on that you can see nice move up um, i know we took it here and, and took profits somewhere here broke through we traded it again took some more profits so amd is um has been pretty nice as well um let's take a look at elf all right so elf is nice it was nice here. That's when we took it. But this stock is not the strongest. You can see it broke down here. And then we had this move up higher. So I'm really not liking ELF. And it's really testing this price point here. So probably what I'd want to see is we have to move back higher now immediately tomorrow. If we don't, then I'm out of the position. You know, Elf, the market's been strong. Elf has not been participating, and there's been a lot of relative weakness in the stock. You can also see that the LRSI is crossing down today on Elf. So um, you can take the trade, you can take the L today, which is probably what I'm looking at if I would take the stock. And, you know, sometimes it just doesn't pan out. Um, it was a nice, nice grind up higher here, hit some resistance, and, uh, you know, you take the L and you move on. Excuse me again, I'm pretty sleepy. All right. The other one that I've taken over here was Guild. I took Guild here, and you can see big move down. You might be thinking, all right, what the hell happened to Guild? Well, they announced some uh, news from a trial that was going on here. I guess it was negative news. It was pretty big, and you can see it had a huge move down. So Guild is pretty choppy. Um, so, you know, it can happen and occasionally these new things happen, but you have to bake them in into your long-term strategy. So I will most likely be taking the L today on guild. Um, I'm just, I was waiting for a bit of a bounce, uh, to take profits here. Um, but you can see heavy volume, major technical breakdown over here. And when, you're, when you have traded both the long and the short side pretty well, when you look at a chart that you were long and you say, hey, this is setting up to be a nice short, that's when you know that you should probably start to exit. And if it wasn't any other indication, indication LRSI is crossed below one. So take the L. So this is a pretty big loss in the stock. It's a 10% loss in the stock. So um, happens. The one benefit of trading uh, an option here would be a fixed loss. So occasionally you would take 100% loss. 
and that's okay. It would be offset by the amount of times you take uh, you take profits at a 20, 30, 40, 50%. The thing is you have to get good profits as well. And sometimes these things will have a positive impact where you take a plus 10% move, right? So I know guild is an L, right? Happens. Take the L, you move on. But also know that when you are trading a system, there is going to be luck and unexpectedness on both sides. This was an unlucky move down. If the trial had been positive, I would have had a massive move up. A guild could have been at $100, right? So that's what you have to weigh in a little bit. Um, so guild is an L. Elf will probably be an L. Let's take a look at Walmart. Uh, Walmart's still kind of holding the ground here. You can see it's respecting its 8 EMA like it's done in the past. I believe it will make this next leg higher. So you can see here on a zoomed out basis, let's look at the M15 so it's a little bit clearer. Right, came here, tested the low, made a high. All right, higher low, double bottom. Now, if we can break through this trend line, we are in good shape. So that's what I would want to see in Walmart. Again, like I said before, this stock makes a move, checks, then makes a move higher, right? It's a grindy stock up. Walmart is not making fucking AI chips. It is selling prime. That's what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's take a look at the other positions we're in here. So first, Airbnb put credit spread. Uh, that is doing pretty well. We had to take some heat initially, like I said, and now it is moving up. Our NVIDIA put credit spread is great. I think if you have, if this is taking a huge amount of buying power, I think this is where I would take profits because, I mean, you can buy this back for just, you know, pennies. Right, you can buy this back for three, four, or five cents. Now, for me, I'm so far out of the money. I am very, I, fi I find it very unlikely that Nvidia is going to fall back below 475. So, because this doesn't take up that much buying power, what I can do is just hold the spread until expiration because I'm not worried about buying power right now, right? I'm just trading one share or one contract. I don't need to make these optimizations. Let me get my extra five cents, right? I'll take five bucks uh, on the stock. So um, if you're trading this one share, one contract, not using all your buying power, let it go to expiration. You don't need to, why why, why, why not take the extra money when you can? All right, Uber put credit spread also in very good shape. Remember we took the 50, let me check actually, I don't remember. I'm not sure if it was 57, 56 or 58, 57. Looks like it was the 5857 put credit spread over here. Um, and that is in excellent shape. Um, oh, I realized I have made a mistake on Uber. I have made a huge mistake on Uber. Earnings is 27. When does my spread expire? 29. I made a massive mistake on Uber and we found that in the video. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to exit the trade. We're going to take the L and we are going to move on. Um it is not worth risking this spread over earnings. And when we make the mistake, we got to correct it immediately. So, we are going to try to exit Uber. Let's see if we can get it for 15 here. All right. So if we don't get a fill here, then I'm going to try to get it at 16. But that's a mistake on my part. So sorry about that. Okay. Zoom here now. Moving up higher. Now I'm double checking the earnings, making sure that we're good. 226, we are good on Zoom. Um. Yeah, 
We're good on zoom. It is moving up higher. You can see it's trying to hold this AV wrap queue over here, um, kind of bouncing around this level. Um, so ideally, I like it like to let a uh, one to hold have this base form over here, and then we can launch up to a higher uh, area. So zoom is in pretty good shape. AMGN um, came close to my profit target today. So you can see AMG, uh, my profit target was around 313, which is right here. AMGN came to a high of 312.16, and then it could not break above this high over here. So I still like it. It is losing relative weakness. We do have an LRSI cross down here. Um, but in my opinion, It's a very shallow cross, and we move back higher. I think it's still digesting some of these gains, and we get that next leg higher. So that is what I am looking for over here. On this basis here, you can see that we've had a now pretty steady grind up higher, where we made higher highs, right, um, and higher lows, holding this level here even while, while the market is now starting to go down a little bit so I like Amgen I am liking what I'm seeing I think it's still fine we just have to give it some time okay final one over here is ACAM ACAM is doing very, very nicely. You can see steady grind higher. We took our long swing over here, and it's actually not showing a trend line. So let's get that. Or is it not? Huh. That is crazy. Okay, well, it should be showing this trend line here. I'm not sure why. Let's go to past. Now. Huh. Well, there was a one on an, an one uh OTL high plus trend line coming into play around the 124, 125 level over here. Um, but does not seem to be showing up, but that's okay. That's still our profit target. You can see that this stock is moves down, moves up, moves down, moves up, holding itself very, very well relative to the market. So I may add on shares here. I also wanted to see it break through this level right here um, and it, I don't know if this is a new all-time high or not oh, okay you can see this is not a new all-time high it was it could it actually is testing this level here all the way from uh, April 2022 there is some horizontal resistance here look at this all right, let's zoom. Let's zoom back in now. And this is the, this is the cool thing about trading out. Yeah, wow. So you can see here that here is this resistance from 2022. Maybe let's look at the weekly chart. And it looks like the all-time high for this stock is 124.91. So I think that'll be our target for the trade, which coincided with the high plus trend line that we were seeing. This stock has broken out through this range. Um, this I view as horizontal um, resistance as well. So that's what caused this two-week selling down that we saw. Very interesting. All right. Looks like look at us. Look at this. Look at us learning together over here. Um, well, anyways, I like ACAM. Um, I would probably add to it here, assuming that we hold the prior day's high. Um, which we may not, considering we had a pretty nice bullish cycle that had nothing, a very clean cross. We started to attack the low of the day. So we may not, we may not. But uh, in any case, ACAM is doing what it wants to do. All right. So 
let's go over some picks for today. First one that I liked uh, was Credo. I liked this break on the D1. It's a little bit choppy. And on the M5, you can see it's a pretty nice steady grind higher. Like it doesn't really do too much. It's just up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, move up. It's slowly moving up. You can see it's 8 EMA. It's a gradual sloping up. So I'd probably want to buy it at one of these 8 EMA points and just let it ride out for most of the day. Um, and I think how I view this, this is that previous rejection. It's trying to get past this level. And then when it starts to confirm past this level, holding this breakout and pushing up higher, enter somewhere around here, 2161, and you have a good chance um, of doing pretty well. So I like this breakout, um, very clean, lots of heavy volume. Credo is a good one for today. Uh, SNPS was one I liked a lot as well. Nice bullish flag formation. You can see it moved down here. It had a pretty deep retracement, which I didn't love, but I like how it's holding support here and we are launching off and through that. There is a lot of open room from here all the way to 592. So uh, SNPS is probably one um, that I will swing. Again, really steady grinder here, heavy volume, just moving up slowly, 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 right? When I first saw it, it was like 536-ish completely ignorant of the market. Again, I want to see the market high of the day hold here, which I think it will. But when I get that hold, I would probably take this uh, stock here as my swing long. Final one here is DKS. Now, DKS had the most beautiful M5 chart earlier in the day. I mean, grinding up here, pull back, steady grind higher while the market's going down and doing nothing. The reason that I didn't love it, love it, is these, this really far trend line coming into play right here and some horizontal resistance that I thought could stall the stock on a D1 level. So I want to see it clear it. Looks like it right now is rejecting that. But if DKS can break through it, confirm that breakout um, with some stack green candles with a lower or sorry, higher low, double bottom, moving up higher. Um, I think that could be a great trade. So my pick for today here is SNPS. Um, that's the one that I would trade and probably one that I'm going to enter. Um, and from the previous picks, we took the L's on Guild. And we will be taking the L's on our good friend elf so that is it for this video i hope it was helpful tomorrow we'll take a look at snps